Since the early days of Fortnite, Mongrel was consistently showing that he was the best of the best, and he was often known as a prodigy, even being featured on BBC News. You know, so what is Mongrel's secret? Like, how does he do this time and time again, and he shows that he's the step ahead of everybody else? Well, stick around, because in this video, all right, we're gonna be answering those questions. Yo, it's the Colonel of the Bunch of Crunch Army, your motivation guy, Keith Allen, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you the best tips that Mongrel uses to absolutely dominate the other pros. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. Let's take a look at this early game standoff Mongo had with another extremely popular and mechanically skilled European pro player, Taysen. FYI, Taysen is wearing the Galaxy skin. All right, so Mongo initiates the fight by headshotting an unsuspecting Taysen who was simply trying to trade with the AI. As Mongo pushes towards him, he sprays at Taysen's wall, cracking his shield. Shortly after, they get themselves into a box fight scenario, one diagonal grid tile away from each other. Okay, so here is when we get our first glimpse into Mongo's thinking while he's fighting somebody who he assumes to be a pretty good player. So as Taysen heals back up to full health with his chuck cannon, Mongo is just very carefully pickaxing at Taysen's wall, and every time he swings, he instantly pulls out his shotgun. He's doing this because he knows at some point Taysen's gonna try to go for a shot, but if he's there waiting for it to happen, Mongo could potentially get a shotgun shot off on him before Taysen ever pulls out his weapon. Unfortunately for Mongo, when Taysen edits, he has a cone in his box that protects him and gives him a better angle which makes Mongo whip his shot, forcing him to disengage and heal up. Alright, so the fight is not over just yet guys, however, I just want to quickly pause and mention that this is what a real in-game box fighting at the highest skill level looks like. These are arguably like two of the best Fortnite players in Europe right now, and it's really all about predictions and pre-fires and positioning. The three Ps. So if you want to get better at box fighting, you should individually train these three game mechanics either in creative or arena. So there are tons of creative maps out there like Clix's box fights, etc. that, you know, can help you level up your box fighting skills. So keep in mind the three P's while playing and you're going to see improvements in your game mechanics faster than ever. All right, so Fortnite has become more and more mechanically demanding, and that's why Pro Guys has the best one-on-one -on -one coaching in the world. Our top coaches are top of the line and really trained to help you get better step by step. And so I highly recommend checking them out as we are also running a 20% discount using code RANKUP2021. So visit the link down below or the top right corner. Here we go. So after Mongo finishes healing up, he instantly gets back up and into the fight. Almost instantly, Taysen comes towards him with the jump shot and ramps over him. Taysen double edits downward, but Mongo sees it coming through the floor and cracks his shield again with his shoddy. After this, Taysen boxes up and Mongo sees another player who's already white and finishes him off, which rewards him with health and siphon. So after that, all right, he pushes towards a weakened Taysen yet again, but this time plays patiently on the low ground because now Mongo knows that whoever he's playing against can send him back to the lobby pretty quickly if he isn't careful enough, especially since Taysen has a chuck cannon on him and Mongo doesn't have a lot of materials. So Taysen is, you know, he's in his one by one and all he's trying to do is just heal up, right? And Mongo can just hear him trying to pop minis. So Mongo literally does what he can do to stop Taysen from healing up. First, he sprays the floor Taysen's healing on top of, and then wraps to the side and successfully grabs his wall. Now, all right, you guys gotta pay attention to the pure speed at which Mongo manages to edit the wall and pull out his pump. If the enemy right now was anyone except Taysen, okay, I best say that he would've just finished him up. Mongo and Taysen are both well known to be extremely mechanically gifted players, so watching this in slow motion is pretty mesmerizing. Okay, so after that, Taysen builds for a high ground and tries to reposition, but Mongo literally just predicts his exact movement and starts building up quickly at the same time, jump shotting off of the cone and just lands a satisfying headshot to finish off the fight. Okay, if that isn't pro level play right here, man, I don't know what is. All right, so the key point to take away from this fight is this. You could go fast with mechanics alone. However, mechanics in combination with high IQ plays and prediction can take you further than your dreams. I'm telling you right now. So we're not saying that Taysen isn't a high IQ player, but you have to admit Mongo played out this fight phenomenally and the elimination was definitely well deserved. Now let's take a look at this segment from a game that pretty much shocked the entire community when it first happened. For some context, okay, he's in a cash cup and it's late game with around six players remaining. Mongo is rotating through enemy builds as he spots a player running towards zone in front of him. He cracks his shield, but the enemy turns around and he hits him hard, down to one shot. Mongo places two ramps over him, and since the storm is moving, he's forced to make some sort of play. 
So the next play that you're about to see guys is what literally broke the community when they first saw it. Mongo edits the ramp so that it's facing his opponent but isn't exposing Mongo at all. The enemy then pre-fires the edit, not realizing Mongo was never exposed. And then Mongo re-edits the ramp which allows him to get an extremely tight right hand peek, headshotting him from a distance and finishing him off, all while being pressured from the storm. So this elimination is a perfect example of how Mongo can bait and outplay even the highest level players, even when he is in an extremely high pressure scenario. I mean, he said it himself, no one would ever do that except for me. You know, maybe he's correct for now, but as pro players like you guys, you know, are watching and you guys are getting better and better in a few months, we may be seeing some high skill plays like these become less rare. So let's get to practicing because at some point I'm telling you, you could pull these off too. All right, so let's break it down for a moment. To be able to pull something like this off, you need at least four things. Good movement, good game sense, insane aim, and flawless edits. So let's go through how we can get better at each of these individually. Who's ready? Let's go. First off, movement. All right, so let me get this out of the way, man, and just say that if you're trying to go pro in this day and age and you aren't using double movement binds, okay, you should definitely reconsider your decisions. Most of you guys watching are probably already using double movement, which is why we're not going to spend any more time going over it. Also, we do have a video explaining double movement already. So if you want to watch that, okay, here's a link for you guys in the description. So apart from the double movement, okay, how do you improve your movement skills to Mongrel's level? What you want to be doing is building a habit of constantly moving back and to the left behind cover to always give yourself a right hand peek as Mongo does here and I mean like right here. You always want to be looking for right hand peeks because they give you a better view of an enemy player's body without giving them an easy shot on you, granting you the upper hand. Also, being able to move left to right freely and unexpectedly can make you so much more unpredictable and so much more harder to hit. So having key binds that allow you to do this is so important. Secondly, game sense. Woo. Game sense is so special, man. People ask me this question all the time on my Instagram at your motivation guy. Game sense isn't really something that you can just easily improve. Like you just build it up over time by playing arena and just being aware of what you're doing in game. High QI plays, you know, require good game sense and thinking outside of the box. So just keep practicing and you're going to eventually start using baits and fake outs to eliminate players. All right. Third of all, aim. You know, Mongrel's aim style is without a doubt extremely fast. You know, back in the day, people made the assumption that Mongrel played on a high sensitivity because of how insanely fast he moved his mouse, when in reality, he was on a pretty medium sense. This proves that it doesn't matter what sensitivity you play on, as long as you just stick to it and keep training your aim and flick shots. So if you wanna get better at aiming faster, you should play aim trainers like Kovacs and also creative maps which are designed to focus on your aim, like Raider 464's aim dual map. This map can improve your aim and movement at the same time. And finally guys, flawless edits. Okay, so editing skills actually go hand in hand with peace control. If you're good at editing, you're gonna be good at peace control and vice versa. So therefore, like if you want edits like Mongrel, you definitely have to practice like how Mongrel does, all right? So go into a creative map and practice your peace control drills for a solid 10 to 20 minutes as a warm up every day before going into your arena. And over time, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. Your peace control mechanics is gonna get faster and faster. And I'm definitely telling you right now, you're gonna make less and less mistakes, but you gotta believe it first. If you don't believe it, I mean, what's the point of practicing? Like you have to believe it and practice at the same time. And I'm telling you, man, you're gonna look at yourself and you're like, wow, I can't believe what I'm looking at. I can't believe I can go this fast. You could do it. So with your edits, it's also important to practice your crosshair placement and minimizing the amount of mouse movement that you make to complete a full edit. So editing through the corners of loot tiles instead of centers of the tiles saves crucial time when box fighting someone close range. So always make use of it, all right? If you stick to these routines and practice these four mechanics every day, I guarantee that you're gonna see faster improvements in your gameplay and the ability to outplay your opponents and high pressure environments will come naturally, just like Mongo's doing right now. So stay consistent and look, this is what I say all the time, never give up, especially if you love this game. All right, bunch of crunch time, it's time for a quick recap, here we go. So if you can't, try to always get the first hit on your opponents for as much damage as you possibly can, and this is gonna ensure more efficient eliminations, especially during the early phases of the match. All right, so be as patient as you can when box fighting pro players. <laughs> you know, getting good at pre-firing and predicting edit pays off in situations like these. Also, make sure that you have a cone in your box for extra cover and prevent enemy peace control like how Taysen 
mentioned it. All right, don't be afraid to play from low ground, especially in situations where you don't have a lot of materials. Pressuring enemies from below can still be as effective as pressuring from above if done well enough. Make sure to consistently practice your movement, guys, your aim, and edits, so eventually you're going to be able to bait out opponents in high-pressure environments as Mongo does here, and I mean like right here. You know, other than that, folks, I mean, those are the tips that FaZe Mongrel uses to dominate pro players in Fortnite. So comment down below what your favorite clip of Mongrel actually is. Hey, if you guys liked the video, you already know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I really believe in you guys, so keep going. No matter what's ahead of you, you know, if you can strive and just give it your all, I'm telling you, man, you're gonna look behind you and you're gonna see how much you've grown and how much you've accomplished, man. You know, let the hard times uh, make you a better person. They have for me and I know they can do it for you. So keep going. I believe in you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.